Hello all, welcome to SourceCAD. Uh, in our previous tutorial, we have seen how you can make blocks and use them in your drawing. And this tutorial is dedicated to renaming, editing blocks, redefining blocks and writing blocks. So these are the four things which we are going to look at in this tutorial. I've already made few blocks and if you want to know how you can make these blocks, go to the previous tutorial. The link for previous tutorial you can see right now on screen and these are the four blocks which we have made in our previous tutorials so now let's go and try to rename some of these blocks here i have three blocks a b c and one two three now let's try to rename this block a and convert this name to a b c it's quite simple for renaming any named objects in this case it's block type r e n r e n for rename and press enter on command line there you'll find a rename window here select your block name of the block then select your block which you want to rename right now I just want to rename a block and you'll see that the old name is a and now here type the new name which you want to replace so now I have typed this new name which is ABC and click on rename to and then you'll see that the object name is changed and the block is now ABC click on OK and now click here and you'll see that the name of this block is ABC so in this way you can change the name of a block now let's go and try to edit this block the block ABC I'll insert this block and here we have now suppose I want to add one more rectangle inside this block and before that I'll make certain instances of this block so copy it and make a few copies so here I have these copies now I just want to convert uh, I just want to add one more rectangle inside this one and I want that all these rectangles get updated so it's obvious if you'll add if you'll manipulate or edit any single block so it will be translated to all the other references all the other blocks as well so click on any of the block and right click a contextual menu will appear and select edit block in place so now here reference edit window appears and you'll see the name of block click on it if not selected and click on OK so you'll see that here we have this block now this block is behaving like a normal drawing object and you can add delete or manipulate it so here I have added the new rectangle now once you've made the edits the changes click on this last ribbon this last uh, temporary ribbon and here you'll find the option for save changes and discard changes I just want to save these changes so click on save changes and this warning message may appear click on OK and there we have so all the instances of these blocks are updated and the block gets updated too and in our block table you'll see that this block has a new look a new defined look so in this way you can edit your blocks in their own place you can also edit these blocks in block editor so if you want to edit this block in block editor double click on any of the block and edit block definition dialog box box will open up select the block which you want to edit in this case I'm selecting ABC click on OK a new window a new drawing area appears which is which is called block editor and uh, you can say that this is block editor by this gray background and this temporary ribbon block editor pops up now go on and make manipulations which you want and right now I've added this circle and I'll add a diagonal line as well here and I've made all these edits now once again you need to save these changes if you want you can directly close this block editor and it will prompt you for saving if not go to this block editor ribbon and there you'll find edit block and save block option so go to save block and the block is now saved go to close block editor and here we have this edited block so now if you'll insert this block ABC you'll see that it's now completely changed so these are the two methods by which you can update your block uh, definition in the same window or in a different block editor window okay so now let's go and try to write block so by writing block I mean that if we have many drawing objects in our screen uh, for example in this case I'm having 
all these objects on my screen and uh, I want to convert some of these objects into a block I want to write them into a separate file so that I can import uh, import them as a block so you can do so using write block so for initiating write block command you can go to insert and on this create block icon you'll find write block so you can select write block from here or you can write w on our command line and press enter and the write block window will pop up so here you need to select the objects or the entire drawing or the blocks so which object you want to write right now I want to select some objects so keep this radio button at objects now click on pick point and select the pick point for your block so here I have got this pick point now go to select objects and select the objects which you want to write so I'm selecting these two objects this triangle and this circle and press enter now on this destination specify the path where you want to save it click on this small square box and click on desktop in my case I'm saving it on desktop so select desktop write the name of block and I'm specifying name B and click on save and now press OK so now this block is saved on our desktop with the name B now let's go and check it so now here we can see on desktop that we have this drawing B and this is the drawing which is currently open and now let's go and open AutoCAD so the so the drawing is now saved on desktop with the name B and now let's go and select this write block command again and I'll select write block from here this time and I'll select objects pick point select this pick point select objects select these two objects press enter and select this and go to desktop again this time I'm writing a different name P Q R and click on save and OK so this block is again overwritten here as PQR so here we have this PQR drawing and you can also import it as a block so now let's go and import all those blocks in our drawing so for importing blocks go to insert and go to more options and now here click on browse button and I'll click on PQR and click open and now you can see that the path of this drawing you can see it here and if you want to manipulate all these options here you can go on and manipulate them if not click on OK button and you'll see that the object is now here inserted as a block how about your cursor and you'll see that this object is now indicating as a block so in this way you can insert these blocks now what if you'll insert a block which is already present in our block table I mean to say that if we want to insert a block with a name which is already present here then what will happen so in this case I am trying to insert this block B here you can see that this block is made up of these two rectangles now let's go and insert this block B which is different from that block into our drawing so let's go to insert more options go to browse and click on B and open and click on OK so here is the conflicting window which appears for redefined block so it's asking you to redefine the existing block which is present in our drawing so you can select redefine block in this case the block in our current drawing in our block table will get updated and if you don't select it it will remain as it is but the drawing will not Im get imported into our uh, main drawing which is drawing 2 so now let's go and click on redefine block and you'll see that we have imported the block but the existing block gets redefined and in our block table also this B block is now redefined don't get misled by this icon click on this B and you'll see that a new block appears here although it's showing the previous icon so this is what a right block is so you can use a right block to convert few elements of your drawing into a block and recall them whenever required so I hope this was clear to you if you have any doubt do let me know in the comment box and don't forget to subscribe if these tutorials are helpful to you and once again thanks for watching